We all know that the RAV4 is one of the best cars to ever be made, but everything has its own pros and cons. It has been dominating the market for a long time, but there is a reason why Toyota is upgrading it. As much as we all love the current RAV4 model, we need to know that this generation has to be up to date with the rest of the competition. And that is a good thing, at least on paper. But this is also bad news for us for two main reasons. Watch till the end because with the new upgrade, these new problems are coming. Simple facts This is the reigning champ, the Toyota RAV4, a compact SUV that's not just stealing the spotlight but also claiming the title of the world's best-selling vehicles. But why is the RAV4 stealing hearts left and right? Well, for starters, the RAV4's popularity is off the charts. They're the cool kids on the block. And let's not forget the RAV4's versatility. It's practically the Swiss army knife of SUVs, offering that perfect balance between practicality and maneuverability, not to mention killer gas mileage. Now, if you're on the hunt for your dream ride, let's drop a truth bomb. The Toyota RAV4 is where the magic happens. It's not just a car, it's a game changer. If you want some numbers to back that up, then this thing doesn't disappoint. Toyota dominated sales in 2021, moving a whopping 1,132,000 units of the RAV4. It's been selling over a million quotes consequently, leaving other competitors and even their own best-selling car at the time, the Toyota Corolla, in the rearview mirror, which was the best-selling car over any other car. Here in the United States, the Toyota RAV4 clinched the title of the best-selling non-pickup truck vehicle, boasting a jaw-dropping 400,739 in sales in just 2021 alone. According to IOL, Toyota is rocking the charts as a top-selling automaker globally. Even the Honda CR-V, a compact SUV that is also very popular, didn't even come close. It sold 903,000 units. When you're talking bestsellers, the RAV4 is the undisputed king, making waves in the automotive scene like no other. This is because the RAV4 is a truly good car. It's designed for everyone, from the budget savvy with the LE trim to the luxury seekers with the limited trim. And for eco warriors, there are two hybrid variants too. And for those craving off road adventures, the RAV4's got your back with the TRD off road package. It's not just a good looker, it's a perfect blend of style and function, boasting a daring and athletic aesthetic. Brace yourselves because the RAV4 is getting an upgrade, and this is the next chapter for the brand. Toyota's chart-topping, especially in SUVs with the RAV4, but it needs to be upgraded. But you have to hold onto your wallets tight because with the new generation comes a price bump of over $2,150 across all trim levels. And this is the first reason why it's a bad time to be a diehard fan owner of the RAV4. In our opinion, it's a small price to pay for the huge upgrade because this beast desperately needs one. And there are lots of things that are changing, and we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. But before we talk about what is changing beyond the price tag, we should get one thing clear. The current model issues. The Toyota RAV4 faces scrutiny for its interior design. It is a focal point for upcoming changes. The next-gen RAV4's interior overhaul is in progress, promising a more modern look. Toyota acknowledges the need to elevate its interior game in a highly competitive market. Inside, the RAV4 boasts a spacious, well-constructed environment, though lacking in flair. While practical and user-friendly, the cabin design lacks the premium feel found in rivals like the Hyundai Tucson, Nissan Rogue, and Mazda CX-5. But despite aesthetic shortcomings, the RAV4 excels as a practical, reliable, top-selling SUV, emphasizing functionality over aesthetics. This is something that a lot of people have been talking about. Toyota has all the rights and resources to choose either one or both. But from the price increase, we don't think they chose to work on both aspects. They've definitely gone the same way as before, reliability over premium materials. And this is the second reason why it's a bad time for the RAV4. The premium quality of the materials is not that bad, or at least they hope so. It's just the fact that all the other rival SUVs have better things to offer. And we'll talk about how this new model stacks up against competition in depth later on. But what has actually changed? Get ready for the RAV4 upgrade, as Toyota rolls in with a wave of enhancements. 
it comes equipped with a digital instrument cluster, boosted safety features, and an upgraded infotainment system, all of which make the RAV4 even more irresistible. But hold on to your budgets because with greatness comes a price shift. The Toyota RAV4 GX's base price now stands at $36,550, plus on-road charges, marking a $2,150 increase since March 2022. Stepping up to the RAV4 GXL, that'll be $37,550 plus on-road costs, a $2,450 bump. And for those eyeing the RAV4 Edge, it kicks off at $53,020 inclusive of on-road charges, owing to the $2,850 hike courtesy of the new standard LED projector headlights, outshining the parabolic LEDs from previous gas models. Let's talk about safety tech because the RAV4 is stepping up its game. It's coming equipped with emergency steering assist, a real saver during evasive maneuvers, ensuring your car stays true to its lane. And that's not all. The upgraded rear-view camera in the RAV4 now offers a sharper image on the display, complete with dynamic guidelines, making reverse parking a breeze. Plus, on the Toyota RAV4 Cruiser and Toyota RAV4 Edge SUVs, a 360-degree camera comes standard. But the most interesting part about this new generation is that there's still the same type of option under the hood. Two gas-only engines and two hybrids carry on the legacy. The 2.0-liter, 4-cylinder gas-only engine will be in the Toyota RAV4 GX, GXL, XSE, and Cruiser. It packs a punch with 127 kilowatts and 203 newton meters, channeling power to the front wheels via CVT. On the hybrid options, a 2.5-liter gasoline engine pairs with a front electric motor, cranking out a whopping 160 kilowatts that uses a CVT. But you could go with the extra electric motor in the back, kicking up the total system output to a jaw-dropping 163 kilowatts. Mark your calendars for December 2024 because that's when the 2023 Toyota RAV4 is set to make its grand entrance on Australian dealer lots, so the Honda CRV is set to step into the ring against the Toyota RAV4, and that is a battle of the heavyweights. These powerhouses not only dominate their respective corners of the US auto industry, but also secure solid positions in the top 10 best-selling vehicles nationwide for 2024. The RAV4 claims the fourth spot in national sales, with the CRV not far behind at sixth. No doubt, these models are the backbone of their respective car companies, and there's little room for debate. The sweet deals. Hyundai and Toyota have been locking horns in the compact SUV arena for a whopping 25 years. The rivalries as fierce as ever. So, what now? You will get a clear view of what is happening if you've been following these two SUVs. Fast forward to 2023 and Honda is dropping a bombshell with a fully redesigned CRV hitting the streets. Meanwhile, the Toyota RAV4, its fierce rival, has been holding the fort since the 2019 model year. But don't let that fool you, Toyota's been cooking up some magic. The 2021 model year witnessed the grand entrance of the plug-in hybrid RAV4 Prime. So, you choose what is best for you. It all depends on what you want from your car. We can't say one is better than the other, driven by our own preferences. But you should do further research before committing to one of the two. Toyota's compact powerhouse, the RAV4 2023, brings you three distinctive trim levels and engine configurations to choose from. While the RAV4 Prime flaunts its plug-in hybrid prowess, the Honda CRV sticks to its gas-powered and hybrid models. The base RAV4 LE keeps it simple, but it's wallet-friendly compared to the base CRV. However, the CRV steals the spotlight with roomier passenger and cargo spaces, ticking all the right boxes for frequent shoppers and outdoor adventurers. In this competitive market, the battle of the crossovers will continue and to be honest, it is a good thing. As the competition gets more and more fierce, we'll have more options and cars that actually want our attention, meaning companies are desperate to satisfy our needs and demand because if they don't do that, then we can just buy their rival, their alternative. It is simple common sense. So prices will go down and cars will start having character, just like in the old days. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments if this is the right choice for you. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.